Well, the clamor for the Wayne County executive to resign appears to be growing louder. So, what would happen if Robert Ficano bowed to the pressure and stepped down? With 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo joins us now with the very latest on this. Heather? Well, Carolyn, it started with a handful of elected officials asking Robert Ficano to walk away. Now, popular radio shows are polling Wayne County residents, and the buzz is growing. But forcing Ficano out won't be easy. Today, I call on Bob Ficano to resign and let Wayne County move on forward to be the great county it can be. Laura Cox was the first Wayne County Commissioner to ask for the embattled county executive to leave office. And she's not alone in wanting Robert Ficano to resign. I think that it's getting to the point now where we're not able to govern and really provide the services to the people of Wayne County. Commissioner Kevin McNamara recently sent out about 7,000 emails to take the pulse of his constituents on whether Ficano should stay or go. Bob Ficano obviously has made massive mistakes, both leadership-wise and managerial. I want to know, based upon that information, would you ask him for his resignation? Today, McNamara tells us that the majority of the responses he received are clear. They want Ficano to step down. Ever since the 7 Action News investigators exposed the Turkia Mullen severance scandal and broke the news that the FBI was investigating Ficano's staff for possible corruption, the county CEO has been at the center of a firestorm of resignations, terminations, and grand jury subpoenas. Even the hugely popular Riff Morning Radio team, Drew and Mike, conducted their own comical poll, asking listeners if they want Ficano to resign. Can you tell us what upset you the most about Bob Ficano's performance? He's a crook. Um, was there anything specific, though? Turkia Mullen, was that enough to set you over the edge? Yeah, yeah. Uh, people out here struggling, trying to find a job and trying to keep a job, and when they're laid off, got to fight for benefits, and she's getting uh, just a pile of money to laid in her lap. Turkia Mullen pr was really enough to seal the deal. The rest of it has just, I, I would like to just go get a dozer and lift him up and take him out of office myself. Wow, I love oh, this woman. That's beautiful. fantastic. And I agree, too. Turkia Mullen was enough. He should have been gone then. Absolutely. So what would it take to remove the county executive from office? What we do know for sure is there's no provision in the county charter or in state law that allows the county commission to remove the county executive. But commission chairman Gary Warrencheck says they could try to change the charter. The commission could propose a charter amendment to allow some sort of a mechanism uh, for removal uh, of, the, uh, of any official. Um, but then again, uh, state law might supersede. Warrencheck also says it's not clear who would choose Ficano's replacement should he voluntarily leave. If the county executive were to succumb to the pressure and, and resign from office, the deputy county executive, Jeff Collins, would assume all duties of the county executive. But if that happens, then there'd be a debate as to whether the deputy CEO would stay until the next election or whether state law would kick in. That calls for the prosecutor, the chief probate judge, and the county clerk to choose Wayne County's next leader. So if it gets to that point, still a lot of questions to be sorted out. All right, so with all the rumbling going on, what does uh, Robert Ficano have to say about all of this, Heather? Well, of course, he maintains that he's not going to step down. His press secretary says he's focused on governing and bringing jobs and growth to Wayne County. All right, Heather, thank you so much for that report. Keeping